We all saw you on the campaign trail working vigorously for another illustrious Wolsey alum, Hillary Rodham Clinton. And you've always put yourself at the forefront of women's issues and encouraging women leadership, especially in the international stage. Why do you personally think that it's important to have women at the table making these decisions and having these discussions with the leaders of these countries and nations? Well, first of all, um, the thing about going to Wellesley was that they were all women. You know, you didn't have to wonder uh, whether your views would be respected uh, on the basis of your gender. They might not be listened to because people disagreed with you, but it wasn't a matter of that you were put down for being a woman. Um, later in life, I certainly saw that it was not easy to be the only woman at the table. Uh, and uh, so I have believed that it is important to get uh, other women uh, that are really part of the discussion and to have a network. Women are really good at making friends and not good at networking. Men are really good at networking and not so good about making friends. And so we need to learn to help each other. Uh, I am now well known <clears throat> for a particular statement, which is that I believe women need to help each other because often there's kind of the queen bee complex and not enough of a thought of helping other women. So I have said that there's a special place in hell for women who don't help each other. I think I saw that on a Starbucks coffee cup it the other day. It was a Starbucks <laughs> coffee cup, yes. Uh, it was somewhat misquoted in the last campaign by a particular woman. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh, but I think that it is important to, um, because I do believe, not just because I'm a feminist, but I truly do believe that societies are better off if women are economically and politically empowered, meaning at the table uh, when decisions are being made about what the program should be or how budgets should be allocated or what the policy of a country should be. Uh, because I think we do bring, um, if you've gone to Wellesley, good views and intelligent approach. And, and, and while I don't believe that the world would be entirely different if it were run by women, I've often said, if anybody who believes that, they've forgotten what high school is like. But I do think that it is important to have women that are strong and capable at the table. Plus, it's just right, because we are more than half the population in almost in every country. Um, but I think it also means that we can't just be at the table. We can't just decide that that is owed us. We have to contribute, and therefore, the educational background that somebody has is essential. If you're going to be at the table, it's not good enough just to say 50% women, you have to contribute something. And so the combination of wanting to be there and then having the capability of being there is what I want to see uh, us develop at Wellesley. And they're not a lot, you know, we're going to have, we can be proud of having two secretaries of state. Uh, I think Yale has a number of secretaries of state, but uh, it is really terrific. I have to tell you a quick story. My granddaughter, Ellie, um, who is six, said, so what's the big deal about Grandma Maddie ha being Secretary <laughs> of State? After all, only girls are Secretary of State. She's six years old, so that's all she's ever seen. Uh, and my grandson, who's nine, he said, but she was the first. So I am very proud of that and very proud that it was because I went to Wellesley, I think, that it played a huge role in that. Well, we are all astonished of everything that you've accomplished. and. I'm pretty sure walking around campus, much of us feel the weight of uh, wet resting on your shoulders um, from being so proactive and encouraging all of us, generations of women, to pro be proactive, challenge, and to be at that table. You know, we're, we're making our elbows a little bit uh, sharper nowadays just to get up there. I think you set the bar for us very well. Well, you have to, because nothing is going to be given to you. And uh, those things that are given, if you, if you cannot really contribute, then it's not worth it. But I do think that Wellesley provides an amazing education, truly amazing, in terms of its breadth, but also its depth um, and the capability. I, I always said when I was campaigning for Hillary that I knew where she got her study skills. <laughs> yeah. Madam Secretary, thank you so much for sitting down with me and discussing the Institute with me. I'm so excited to have it come to Wellesley College and to hopefully be a part of it myself. Well, congratulations on uh, what you're doing and thank you so being much. president. And uh, 
that is uh, great.